Hey guys, I'm John Chevalier, and uh, today I want to introduce you to a guitar that I've had a chance to play for the last month. This is Yamaha's Transacoustic line. Now, this one right here is the Jumbo model. Uh, they've got several different models. They have a parlor guitar. Um, you can take a look at their website, um, just www.yamaha.com, and, uh, and see what they have. But I, this guitar is very unique because what it has inside, it has an actuator and it has some onboard effects. It has onboard reverb and it has onboard um, chorus. Now, that might not be really impressive to you, except for the fact that if you notice, I am not plugged in. You're just hearing what you're hearing in the room, okay? So, if I go ahead and come over here, I want you to notice I've got three switches. Okay, little knobs. I have a reverb and chorus on top. Now you do see that bottom is a volume knob. When it's not plugged in, that just functions as an on-off switch. So, um, right now it's on, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of room reverb. And you're hearing right here, it's coming out of the sound hole and reverberating off the back of the guitar, okay? Go ahead and make it a little bigger. Let's go to the hall reverb. I'll play the same thing. And we can also add a little bit of chorus. Or we can add a lot of chorus. Now the way this works is the actuator is actually mounted in between two of the brackets on the back side of the guitar and it has this little plunger like suction cup that touches the back of the guitar. You're, so you're not only getting the sound out of the, this is not a speaker, it's actually using the guitar as a body of, as the speaker. So there's no little sound system inside of here, but um, it, it, it makes the back vibrate. So if you listen to this, I generally hold the guitar like this. It's touching my body up here, but I've got about this much space in between the back of the guitar and my body. If I held this right up against my body, you hear how I have a little bit different sound. So you can not only adjust the sound here with your knobs, you can also adjust it by holding it up against your body. So it's a very cool instrument. If you're just playing acoustically yourself or you're at a party or you're, um, you know, um, just uh, even outside with no acoustics. I'm in a studio right now, so my acoustics are controlled pretty well in here. And um, yeah, so I kind of wanted to show you this guitar and hear how it sounded like. Now I'm going to go to a couple of different locations. But before I do that, I'm going to plug it in, okay? So give me one second to plug it in, get set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, grab my cable. We're all plugged in now. Now, I know you see some stuff in back of me. I want you to know uh, I'm running through a tube pre, through a Crown 1500 amplifier, and a couple of um, AccuGroove FR, FR, full range, flat response speakers, which are like studio monitors on steroids, okay? So you're really gonna just get to hear the instrument. Anything that I have back here is just shut down. All you're hearing is a tube pre, and that's it. So this is just raw, the guitar. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of reverb. Put 
put some chorus on it. A little more chorus. So overall, a very versatile, very good sounding guitar. I would say that the strength of a guitar is when it's unplugged. Sounds great um, plugged in. Uh, I would probably myself adjust the EQ on the guitar if you're thinking that already. Uh, I just wanted you to hear the guitar raw with nothing uh, through the audio system. But it works really good plugged in, works really good not plugged in. Okay, so. What I want to do right now is I want to talk about some practical uses. So um, we're going to take a walk. I'm going to go over in my living room. I'm going to go out on my back deck, and there's one more location that I think uh, think I want to try and uh, see how it performs. Okay? So um, come on, let's go. Okay, so I've moved over here into my living room. Hopefully you can hear a little bit of acoustics. This is a typical living room. Uh, I've got a couple of sofas, couches in here, uh, but a lot of hard surfaces. Okay, so you're going to have a little bit, um, the acoustics are going to be a little different. So first of all, what you just heard... This is the guitar just all by itself. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn on our uh, turn on our effect. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna just start out in here with just a little bit of reverb. Small room. Let's bring it up a bit. Let's go ahead and bring the chorus up and see what it sounds like here in the living room. And again, this is just to give you a little bit of different, uh, different ideas, what different rooms sound like. One of the things right away that I noticed is I'm thinking about um, beyond, uh, you know, the fact that a lot of us are sequestered and, you know, uh, doing music from our homes these days, is that you have a small group or a small gathering over at the house. Um, you're doing music in a room where you really don't need to be mic'd, but you always mic yourself because you like to use your chorus and your effects and some different things on your guitar. This right here, you can sit in the corner of a room. With literally no sound system. So, um, so yeah. So there's the living room. Okay, let's go outside. Okay, so here we are outside. I'm on my back deck. Um, I shot here because this was actually uh, one of the first places that I played the guitar when I got it. Um, but there's some acoustics here, even though you just see what's in back of me. There's a wall uh, right in front of me. There's a wall over here on the side. So if I was doing a music event out here, I would have some natural acoustics even though I'm outside. You also hear I have a little nature. Listen to the birds. All right. So you can already hear that I don't have the acoustic bounce that I have inside. So let's go ahead and we're going to add a little reverb. I'm going to go kind of heavy on the room reverb.
starts to fill it out. Now outdoors, I like to move into the hall reverb and give me a little bit more. Let's go ahead and put a little chorus on here. Crank it up. Go bigger, go home, right? Really nice sound. Okay, so there's the transacoustic outdoors in a setting uh, that you might use it at. Okay, you might have friends over, party, might be at night. And again, not not plugged in. Okay, like we were before. This is totally, uh, you know, to to totally outdoors, which is really unique. Okay, I've got one more spot that I want to go to. Okay, well here we are. I told you I had one more location. I am out in the middle of about a 35 acre field and uh, there are no acoustics out here. We might have a little bit of wind noise, um, but this is just the guitar by itself. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of that reverb. No acoustics at all. Let's go ahead and put a little chorus on it. Now, regardless of your uh, your situation, if you're performing out live, uh, you've seen it unplugged, you've seen it plugged in, and um, yeah. The uh, Transacoustic Yamaha series. Take a look. Thanks, guys. See you next time.